hey guys welcome back to another video today we are trading gbp usd and so far these are positions that i'm holding and the account balance is 700 i mean seven 700 usd and these are positions that i'm holding these are all positions that i'm holding lot size that i did use is 0 0.11 and there is only one position that is um that is almost one lot one lot and so far so far i am gonna hold and as the go as the time goes by i will be trading um nas 100 but i would be trading nas 100 once there is a confirmation because so far i have been analyzing nasdaq and i have no confirmation so far i have touch one and touch two on my um on my resistance level and i'm waiting for a buy but i'll be preparing for a sell too this is my okay all right let me clean my chart so that you will see what i'm talking about so this is my h1 charts on nasdaq and this is my let me highlight this is my support level that i have and this is my resistance so far and um highlighting has my resistance because the charts have been failing to break this price and you see right here right here right here and right here the price have been have been bouncing or have been consolidating between this support and resistance have been consolidating between this support and resistance and if it breaks this resistance then that would be my first confirmation and my second for confirmation will be around here here i have touch one and here i have my touch two so so far this is what i have i don't have my touch three and i'm waiting for my touch three and if there is my touch three i'll be using the price on the resistance as my take profit and this will be my stop loss right here stop loss will be around here after it has broke this trend line that is right here after this trend line have been broken and there is a trend a there is a confirmation on this chart then i'll be using this price as my as my stop loss and this price on the resistance as my take profit so i'll be expecting some some last case around here last case there'll be perhaps a confirmation and then there'll be a last case that will touch a, a trend line that is here and then we'll be going up after if there is no confirmation then i'm waiting for a sell this is what i like about this strategy that i'm using so far this is my touch one from my support and here is my touch two and then i'm waiting for my sell two and if there is no confirmation for a buy that means the charts will be bouncing around here and or they they will they'll be um um i will i will see that there is no confirmation and then obvious they they will be a oh let me not say obvious there will be a confirmation around here for a sell and if there is no confirmation for a sell that means it will be bouncing up obvious but so far since i don't have a confirmation then i'll be waiting and if if my if this chart around here this nasdaq chart will be breaking this resistance that is here that means this will be shooting up already because there is a, a, a head and shoulder formation that is here this is my head this is my shoulder right here on your left hand side and right here is my um my head here all this this is my head then it should be forming a shoulder around here then it should be shooting up if it breaks this this resistance right here so so far i'm trading gbp usd and i'm i'm still waiting for and i'm still waiting for a confirmation on the nasdaq 
so yeah guys that is my chat that is my chat and i'll see you in the next video when i'm um, when i am confirming if it, my gpp trade did hit my stop loss or my take profit peace